on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Mansions with huge garages. Become a fireman, policeman and taxi driver. And join a gang with its own turf. We list the ways we think GTA could be improved all on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. I'm your host James Jarvis and this week I'm joined by Mr Trophy Ian Wilson. Hello. Hello. So yes, recently our videos have not been going down too well. No. But we're going to fix that this week with these uh, list of things of ways that we think we can improve GTA Online. Yes. Now, these are merely suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> these are coming from us. Uh, some of them are re community requested features, which haven't, be, haven't quite been fulfilled yet. Uh -huh. Some of them are lifted from old games, and some of them are completely new things, which yeah. hopefully you guys will be excited about. Uh, we've racked our brains to come yeah. up with these. Uh, so if you've got any more suggestions, put them in the comments below. Get in touch on Twitter at GTA v O'Clock or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA v O'Clock. So once again, these are suggestions, yes. six suggestions of ways we think we can make GTA Online better. Yes. Number one, mansions. Yes. Let's start off with Let's the obvious one. Yeah. Uh, obviously, people have been wanting mansions for ages. There are loads, right, up in the hills? There are, yeah. And then there's obviously like the famous Playboy style mansion and in that Richmond area there's various other mansions there's like a close with loads of mm. big houses on it and in that area is pretty full of them as well. Now we've wanted these for ages obviously as Rockstar keep adding more vehicles to the game we have less and less garage space to, to, to store the vehicles. This is it yeah even with even with this I think it's still uh, is it three properties you can own maximum so even potentially even with that now Mm. people could be running out of space with, uh, as you say, with all the extra vehicles that are coming into the game. Yeah, so we need a place to put them, and one of the places to put them would be in one of these mansions. Now, I don't think these are going to come cheap. Uh, oh, definitely not. <laughs> if we're going to put them in the game, let's say that we're putting them in the game, they're like, yeah. I guess, like, you expect them to be like, what, $10 million yeah, maybe? Yeah, I mean, if you think some of the high-end apartments are like 400000 uh, I'm not sure if it goes up to half a million, mm. but yeah, they're definitely around that, that ballpark figure. So to get an entire mansion and, and the grounds as well, yeah, you're looking at substantial. I mean, you've got to make it expensive enough to, to be exclusive enough that people actually want to save up and do it as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. So... I'm going to say that I think these should come with dance floors. We've mentioned this on the, <laughs> on the show a lot. Yes. Uh, so the ability to Amazing. dance. Uh, outdoor barbecues. Yeah. So you can have your nice. own grill and cook yourself some burgers and things. Yeah. Uh, and DJs. Now, whether this can be your own created playlists, obviously from things that already exist in the game, but you could pull tracks in from different radio stations. Yeah. Yeah. Create your own work. playlist. Or, you know, let's go one step further and say, hey, you can put your own music in your own Ooh. private mansion. Now, a lot of these things are obviously going to have to be tackled with... Like, there's loads of rights <laughs> reasons why you can't do that. Exactly, and yeah. And there's loads of, like, server reasons and stuff. But this is yeah. just, like, a wish list. So yeah, let's sure. not too get... Don't so, get too bogged down in the technicalities. Yeah. Because there's a lot of them that could stop a lot of these things from happening. But there we go. So, yeah. I came up with the idea as well that maybe instead of just buying a mansion, you can rent it uh -huh. for the weekend... Uh, there'll be a bit more on this later, but say you're in a crew and you want to get together with all of the crew in a big thing, maybe you can rent the mansion for the weekend yeah. and we'll all head there, Okay. get like 30 people in the same server coming <laughs> to your party. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, but also they're not going to be exclusive things. So if you want to keep, like if you're having a party, maybe... You have to hire in some outside security to ah, keep people away from your property right. while you're having like a cool party, and okay. you don't want to be interrupted by someone with a tank. So. No, exactly, because that'd be rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, and and possibly we'll go into a bit more details later, but possibly you have to uh, like own that section of the map with your gang in order to rent the mansion and Got therefore yeah. have the party. Uh -huh. But we'll get onto turf and gangs in the next couple of bits. <laughs> sure. Um, but next up, get jobs. Yes. So one of the things in GTA Online at the moment is that if you don't want to blow stuff up or kill people, yeah, there's not really that much sort of sedate <laughs> things to no, do. No, exactly. Like you can go out on your own on, on the boat or on jet skis and like get together in crews and ride around a bit, but there's no like goal there. It's mm. just sort of hang out. So 
Which is fine, because obviously that's the point of the game, is to go around and like cause carnage. Like it's yeah, just exactly. GTA. It's yeah. fun. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to relax and have a walk around, then this is where jobs can come in. And, uh, and you can earn some extra extra cash while you're doing it, possibly. Mm-hmm. So there could be a suggestion as well of getting players, getting money from other players right. while you're doing these jobs. For instance, being a taxi driver. Uh huh. You Now this has happened, you know, you can be a taxi driver in previous GTA games. Yes. But... You know, point to point trips, but this time you set the fee. Ah, right. So, if you're if two of you in the same server trying to be taxi drivers, you're going around. Someone wants a lift, bit like Uber. You right. go, I'll take you there for forty dollars, mate. And the other guy's <laughs> like, ah, oh, thirty five. And you undercut each other, and right. then you probably end up taking everyone everywhere for free. Yeah, but you that's, know, you got to stick to your guns in this this cutthroat exactly, world of yeah. taxi driving. Yeah. You got to say no. I'm not doing anything for less than ten dollars. <laughs> And possibly on top of that as well, you could take someone somewhere for free, but maybe they're like a millionaire in the GTA world and they tip you a little tip. like ah. 10,000 pounds. And wow. you're like, oh, I did get them there really quickly. <laughs> on with your J yeah. job. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, nighttime fares would also cost more. Yes, that's, yes. It's that's unsociable hours. Yeah. You've got to do that. <laughs> uh, firemen, lots of fires in San Andreas, yes. mainly caused by other players. Exactly. But uh, if you were to become a fireman, I think you'd be stationed at the fire station. Uh, and so you just hang around in that new interior that we've just made. Yeah. <laughs> new fire station interior. I like it. Uh, and then once you get a fire call, you're called out. You have to go down the pole, <laughs> get out in your truck. <laughs> right, If there's yeah. a team of you, you you know, you drive. I'll do the hang hose. Hang on the back and do the hose. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. another one. Sure. I mean, obviously, it doesn't necessarily, like for any of these things, they don't necessarily have to be other players or other player created things you could be serving there could be a dynamic thing created within the online world that yeah. fires break out and, and you just have to go and, and sort it out yeah you, you don't want to be sitting there for waiting like three for days waiting for somebody to set fire <laughs> nothing like, happens playing ping pong and yeah waiting around playing ping pong that's in the fire station there it is another one that's another it Rockstar thing. got formed for this already they, so. they just shove it in yeah That'll easy fine. Um, you can become a policeman obviously that's something that people have wanted for quite a long time cops and crooks type thing yeah of course uh, but this way you can deal with the other player criminals robbing the convenience stores. Oh, ah, okay. At the yeah. moment, that's quite easy to do. Yeah. Like, you can go in. You, you don't have any stars. You can get away, and you—I mean—you don't get that much money. Like probably like a thousand dollars a time. <laughs> yeah. But but maybe that you know we up the prices. You can rob bigger places, but now there's like actual player-controlled police hunting you down. Who afterwards. are more aggressive? They yeah. get the call earlier. They're like right there. I'm going. Hmm. So yeah, and you also yeah, like you say, there can be. You can have More. like a sort of police scanner thing going on that just blips yes. up, like as you're cruising around, just blips up crime spots for you to go and investigate. Oh. Yeah, and that can be like a dynamic in-game thing. Yeah, like just saying, hey, there's a small crime. Like that woman's just had a handbag nicked. Go and chase the criminal. muggers. Muggers in the game. There you, you are. Go after them. Yep. <laughs> uh, and finally, tying back to the mansions thing, private security. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So if you've hired one of the mansions up in the hills. You can then hire in some private security, and then it's their job to keep everyone else away from, like, in a certain, you know, like a radius yeah. cone. You just go, don't let anyone in here. If they do, come in, get rid of them. Yeah. By well, get rid fired. of them, shoot, <laughs> shoot them. Yeah. Inverted commas, get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it, you could expand this a bit more to say, like, it's that person's job. Like, you give them a list of player names. And they have to check the names off okay. as they come up the driveway and go, oh, is, is they on the list? Are they not on the list? Yeah. Make a snap decision. <laughs> and then, if of course, if they blow up someone who's actually invited to the yeah. party, fired. That's definitely, yeah. Not That's allowed to be. a sacking offence. Yeah, you're not private security anymore. No. Your licence revoked. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yes. No more private security. Uh, so there's a few things for jobs in the game. I also thought about maybe including, like, takeaway delivery things. But, you know, that's ties back into like someone has to order a takeaway mm. and is that fun <laughs> i don't know yeah so there we go okay uh number three being in a gang actually means controlling your turf rather than just being in said gang so currently when you're in gangs you get a small amount of xp for like riding around together or if you do a heist together you get like a bonus yeah being all part of the same crew but let's expand on this thing and now, this is where it's going to get very uh, technically <laughs> challenging <laughs> Tricky, yeah, for yeah. Rockstar. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, so split the maps into different sections okay. or states. Yeah. But, I mean, it, you know, San yeah. Andreas obviously is one big state. Exactly, yeah. Split into smaller <laughs> sections. 
which we're going to need like multiple servers for, and you'd always have to log into the same server. But you know, let's pretend that all that is fine, and yeah. then each of these states are like constantly contested in real time. So you can go to the social club, look at the map, see which areas of the map your crew controls, which area the other crew controls. And then if you'd like to go and take over one of those areas, you have to say, right, I need like 10 guys. We all need to go to this server and then go and like Damn. stay in this area or, you know, yeah. have a certain amount of people in there for a certain amount of time. Hold it off. And then it flashes yeah. like GTA 5 o'clock green, yeah. obviously. And then, you know, so you can go, oh, we own downtown. But out in Sandy Shores, it's that other crew, the, like the, the lost, yeah. but not the lost, not, yeah. but you know, a representation of the motorcycle <laughs> crew. And we're like, oh, but wouldn't it be great if we went out over there, took their land from them, and then you start expanding your territory, and the more territory you have, the cheaper things are, that like you can do more missions, and you can have parties in the mansion. Oh, okay. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, it's a tricky one, because um, obviously it's... Turf Wars was a big thing in San Andreas, mm. wasn't it? And it did prove quite divisive. Uh, I really liked that. it. Yeah, some people liked it, some people really didn't like it. Um, I guess on the one hand, if you were doing it against other actual online players, that might make it more interesting. But then, as you say, server issues, it's a hell of a thing to organise. Yeah. At least if you were doing it against, say, like the Lost yeah, the lost crew or the um, sort of other downtown crews or whatever, uh, and were just your crew against them. At least that would just be like one single server thing mm. that you potentially wouldn't be bouncing off of the crews for. So it could work either way. Um, yeah, it would be tricky but doable. <laughs> okay, good. We're putting that in the tick list. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go number four then. Open the goddamn casino. <laughs> yes, come on now. And attach horse racing or whatever it is behind it, like yeah. that circular track. It's, it's, yeah, it's got to be horse racing, surely. Could be dogs. Mm, yeah. Or, or maybe... It's quite wide for a dog track. Yeah, I and mean, there's uh, a lot of dogs. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just have loads so of it should be efficient, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so possibly horses. And, yeah. Um, obviously, this is something that everyone wants this. Um so, but when the casino opens, let's just establish that it's going to open. Yeah. Uh, so, what you know, what's it going to be used for? Obviously, there's going to be regular gambling in there, like in any casino. You'll have slot machines where you can waste your money. You can have blackjack, roulette, uh, all of that kind of stuff. The stuff yeah. that you normally get in casinos. But what about like large scale poker tournaments, which are like organised by Rockstar, and there's huge prize pools. So you go in, you say, oh, "Yep, yeah, I've got." my thousand dollars mm. gta dollars yeah putting that down for the tournament on sunday you all have to go to the casino on sunday you like queue up you go and sit down <laughs> at different tables you can walk in and watch and there's loads of different people playing yeah it's yeah. like a leaderboard saying who's got the most chits uh it's probably difficult to do across multiple servers but you probably work out how to do it somehow yeah. uh and then yeah, so you know you you bet for you play for like million pound prize pools. And you, exactly. Yeah. You know, they, they watch you on TV. I yeah. Watch that. No, it sounds good. I mean, like, I I can certainly I can certainly envision being able to actually go into the casino and have a wander around and mm -hmm. have all these different machines that you can go and interact with and do that. And obviously, with the poker stuff, Rockstar again have got previous um, experience of doing this with the Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I can't remember which one of the DLC packs it was for it, but that actually let you play uh, poker online against other play people, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, so potentially it wouldn't be too hard to kind of reintegrate that into GTA Online and, you say, have it so you could actually all turn up at a set time. Mm -hmm. Or even just, like, have a, a free table system yeah. where you just jump in and it match makes you with other people in other casinos who are also uh, looking to play a game online and do it that way as well. Uh, yeah, maybe not for quite such a bigger prize pot, but yeah, I can't imagine it'd be too difficult to match you against other people to play. Yeah, you'd want to have like regular, just standard games, and yeah. then maybe one big one every month or whatever. Yeah. But speaking of Red Dead Redemption oh, yes. and horses, yes, if the if it is in fact a horse racing track and you've opened that for, uh, allow people to go there and have like like the poker tournaments really, like make it a big thing rather than just going along and betting on a race every now and then have like a big meet where you know yeah. every month you go along and you all come and watch and here we go Are you ready this yes. is the this is the crazy talk now okay go on so you bring the best horses from around like san andreas to yeah. come along and compete and they compete on that month 
and maybe you can own a horse. Right. Or like your gang owns a horse, like you all put in money to buy a racehorse. Yeah. And then you've got to like train your racehorse somehow. <laughs> and, uh, Probably some sort of mini game for that. Surely. Yeah, yeah. But you've got to keep doing it. Like yeah. as part of your gang, you'll go and do it once a two, twice a week or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll work out the particulars as we go along. Yeah. Uh, but you'll like keep it fed, look after it, like train it. And then on race day, it's up to you and like your gang to transport your horse from its paddock yeah. to the racetrack. Okay. But during that time, you can be hijacked by other gangs. <laughs> so your like million pound racehorse yeah. could be hijacked by someone else, oh, and no. then they can rob you of your like winning horse. Right. So you've got to kind of more like a sort of convoy escort. Yeah, you go in to... a big truck. You get yeah. people there with like other <laughs> support things. You get the helicopters in. <laughs> and you just so, protect your horse. Wow, okay. You on board yeah. with that one? Yeah, no, you don't seem too convinced. No, that, sounds, that sounds crazy, but it's so crazy it might just my work. All right, good. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll put, we're putting that in as well. Yeah. Um, okay, number five, player-designed heists. Now, obviously this can't work with real, like, GTA dollars yeah, or XP it's... because people just exploit that. Yeah. Like, it's too easy to do. But I think it would be great if we could let players create like multi-string missions like we do with the heists ending with one big explosive payout mission where you yeah. go things like going you know you go and collect the van bring the van back to this point then go and get the weapons and bring the weapons back and then it all comes together in some big oh now we take the van over there like just like a normal heist yeah sure thing. uh so because the, the community loves heists yeah uh, and they really want to play some more because yeah you know, we need, yeah we've still only got the original ones so, I mean, you could even use them as, like, training missions. Instead of calling them, like, heists, you could go mm. heist training. You could get people in to see how good they are at doing different tasks. You go, hey, you want to be part of this flying crew? Come to the training academy. I've set up this cool flight mission yeah. where you can come and do some stuff. Uh, maybe in a new academy building, which I've just invented. Okay, good. So in the academy building, you could go yeah. there and... So it's sort of like an AR thing. Yeah, like run a simulation. Yeah, you go in good idea you go oh. in as a team four of you you all sit in chairs in the game <laughs> right and yeah. then it like goes all digitized yeah and it puts you in like a new heist that's been oh. player designed and you can all just play that you've got infinite lives and it's just fun okay yeah it okay. could work yeah good. i mean like obviously we've got the rockstar creator already for various types of online stuff like death matches mm -hmm. and capture and all that sort of stuff um whether that could be expanded to include heist creation if they could get enough of the tools in there. I mean, obviously, the PC version's got a bit of an advantage with the Rockstar Editor, mm. and there's a lot more flexibility for doing stuff within that than you've got in the in the general creator. That's but, true. But yeah, potentially there, there, there's there's scope there to expand that and do a set of missions and put them together as a heist. Yeah. I think so too. Hmm. Good, we are agreed. And finally, <laughs> number six, finally for now, anyway, I'm sure you guys have got loads of suggestions listening to this. Uh, community events, like an air show, or like running events, or music yeah. events, something like that. So it's just a thing to keep bringing people back into the world. So every so often there's big events in and around uh, oh, Los, Los Santos. Santos. Yeah. Uh, so like in real life. Yeah. You know, like we get in real life. So you've got like a running race where all the roads are shut, like weapons are disabled and everyone has to turn up if you want to. Yeah. You can turn up and watch if you want, but you turn up and watch and you just like you just have to do like one of those crazy triathlons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But against other people rather than people. Yeah, I mean that's something that's that's kind of missing at the moment and in, in the online. You've got the um bike uh motorbike mm -hmm. races, you've got the car races, you've got plane races. I don't think there's bicycle races, is there? I think you can have can, push uh, bike push, races. There are some push bike races in there, but there's certainly not any running races or any of the triathlon stuff that you get in the single player. Mm. Um, and they were quite interesting. They're quite hard work at times. There's, yeah. that, there's that epic one um, that starts somewhere up in Sandy Shores. It goes on for about half an hour yeah. and goes across the whole map. So, uh, a, But things like that would be really fun to do yeah. with other people. Maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, If you were racing racing against a lot of other online people and having to do all the swimming and cycling mm. and running, that can make it really interesting. And we'll set entry fees, but there'll be prizes for winners. Like yeah. Maybe just cash prizes, but you could also get you know like vanity license plates yeah. to say that you're the winner of or the... Like a, cool t-shirt and medal you could wear when yeah. you're cruising around yeah so. and then everyone be like oh you're the winner of the the cool triathlon nice yeah. work uh, 
Same sort of thing for air shows. You'd have like a location where you go, this is where the air show is going to be. Turn up here, Sunday, four o'clock. And we're going to have like the best pilots around doing some crazy loops going through stuff, yeah. stunts and things. And you go and watch it. So that would work by pilots would enter like qualifying rounds. Uh -huh. So we'd work out who was the best in the community at flying planes. And yeah. then go, right, you 10 are selected for the air show. You can come and do one final challenge. Everyone can turn up in their cars and things, sit on the floor, watch the skies <laughs> yeah. as people fly around. <laughs> uh, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Uh, and then you have to pay to enter, but also there's food and drink there as well. Like <laughs> right, new okay. food and drink trucks. Interesting. Just to, like, just to give it a little bit of a, like a, sort of, an event yeah. festival yeah. vibe. Yeah. Which is sort of the same thing as the music events, which is like, who wouldn't want to see Love Fist in the stadium? Of course. Then down at like the Hollywood Bowl, the fake. Yeah. The fake Hollywood Bowl. So and maybe there's camping there as well, like a big festival, and you can go around and like it's all got this big carnival atmosphere, and there's BMX competitions going on. Yeah. And there's other stuff and like skateboarding and <laughs> things. It's like I just want a big festival in yeah. the world. We've already got BMXs in the in the game, and um, like the uh, what do you call it, half pipes or yeah. stunt ramps and things. So you may have a kind of like X Games style event with that and get people doing stunts and tricks and yeah. to like do a perform like a, a stunt run and get the most points on that or something so so i know like rockstar have the like event weekends where it's like double xp and we're doing different stuff but this is more of a like things that will actually physically be in the world yeah so you walk in it'll be like roped off you'll have to buy a ticket to get in and you go in and there's like all the food trucks and then at the end there's a stage and there's music on and it only lasts like one night and there's merchandise to buy. You can ah, buy T-shirts, okay, in-game so T-shirts. So you could have the t I saw Love Fist at the yeah, and Vinewood then, Bowl or whatever. And yeah. it only happens like once a year, like <laughs> like Glastonbury wow. or something like okay, that. Yeah. You just have a big music festival. Yeah, It'd interesting. be really cool. Yeah. So uh, there we are. That's uh, some, some, ideas. some suggestions yeah. of how to make GT Online uh, even more involved than it is now. Uh, if you guys like those, why don't you hit the like button? That'd be nice to get a video nice. that we've done that's more, more likes, likes than and dislikes. dislikes. Would be good. Uh, yeah. So yes, please do that. Let us know your suggestions for what you think about these and anything else you've got in the comments below. Get in touch on Twitter at GTA Beer Clock and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA Beer Clock. We will read all your things and we will come back next week at 5 p.m. GMT.